Hello everyone, this is Sachin again and uh, today we'll be talking about some concepts about a pre-signed URL in AWS S3 service. So let's see how it works. So I have a bucket name called Sachin Bucket Test 123456-source, just some uh, random name. So I just want to make sure, you know, it is unique. So right now my bucket is empty and there's nothing uh, over here. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to upload, add files and one dot text I want to upload over here. The content of one dot text is um, cat one dot text is this is file one. Perfect. Now this has been uploaded. So which we can see over here one dot text has been uploaded. If you want to open, um, you'll see this file has come over here. All right. Now what I'm going to do here is so once um, you log into your account and you can see this file over here and the content out of it. But what if you want to share this file temporarily, uh, probably uh, for one time to open or probably uh, it should be valid for a couple of seconds to an hour, something like that. And anybody who does not even have access or let's say it doesn't have a Amazon account should also be able to um, open that file. So how you can do it, the answer lies into pre sign URL. So let's see how it works. So this is the command. Um, let me copy here. So AWS S3 pre-sign and you just locate the file. So in this case, S3 colon slash slash the bucket name and one dot text because that's a URL over here, one dot text. Okay. And I want that this pre-sign URL should be valid for one hour and 3600 is like number of seconds in one hour. And then profile demo admin, which I'm using for this account. And when you press enter, this will generate a pre-sign URL and this URL will be valid for one hour, which you can see here, AMZ expires 3600, something like that. So how we can open that? So I go to Chrome and let's say I open a incognito window and put this URL over here and press enter. Uh, the bucket you're to access, okay. All right, there's a small problem. Um, uh, let me close and show you. This bucket is in US East one reason and by default, my configuration is um, WS, uh, config is into southeast one region so uh, let's try it one more time but this time I will say region US East one basically where the bucket resides so glad that I got this error so we know how we need to rightly correctly create this URL so let's copy the new URL and again go to Chrome go to the window paste the URL and press enter now you see that how you can generate a pre sign URL share it to somebody and that person can directly access um, this, you know, uh, the content of this file um, directly from Amazon. And this will be valid only for one hour because you generated this file for one hour. Perfect. So uh, this is concept number one. And let's see the concept number two. So now I have another file called 2.txt. Uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, right now, if you go to the bucket and there is no 2.txt file, Right. It's only one dot text, but still you can create a pre sign URL for the file which does not exist yet in Amazon. So all I'm going to do here is go to um, this key and change from one dot text to two dot text. So now I'm going to generate the URL uh, for um, the file two dot text in S3 bucket and see that this file does not even exist here. but that does not stop you to create a pre-sign URL, but this will not work, of course. So I'm copying this URL, go to again incognito window, paste it and press enter. And as expected, this file does not exist because this key, this, you know, this key does not even exist. So what's the use of it? The use is whenever this file is created, this pre-sign URL will start working. So let's see how it can be done. So I'm going to switch back to my S3 view and I'm gonna go to upload at files and this time I'm gonna upload two dot text perfect so now uh, you see this two dot text has been uploaded if I see now two dot text is here all I'm gonna do here is go back to this URL and refresh now you see this file has started working so this is concept number two now the final concept is that this the account which is generating the pre sign URL if that account somehow um, lost its access then pre sign URL will also stop working so the account which I have logged in that I have used also here to create this pre sign URL all I'm gonna do here is go to IM and make sure that this account 
lost permission to two dot text or let's say the whole s3 access at all so i'm gonna go to user and this is a user i'm using admin this user i have used for you know uh, profile demo admin internally so it has administrator access all i'm gonna do here is create an inline policy and um choose s3 just somehow um, all actions resources just next okay just give a policy name uh, no s3 access let me first create this policy and then i will edit it as a json okay create policy okay so this policy is created all i'm going to do here is edit and instead of allow i will say deny so this guy does not have s3 access at all so let's verify that now this person admin um, user admin um, admin though has an admin access but explicitly uh, s3 denies there so which means eventually it lost access to s3 buckets so if you go to s3 definitely you will not see um, you know um, you, if you try to let's say create bucket or something i just give some random name and just say create you see fail to create bucket because you know uh, the permission uh, has been taken away so which also means that the url which has been generated using this account has also lost its permission so all i'm going to do here is go here and refresh and then access denied so these are the three important concepts when it comes to pre-sign url i quickly summarize that one is you can create a pre-sign url for any file which exists um, you can provide various kind of a policies like it should expire in one hour or you can also tell like you know it should be valid only for one time access whatever complex policy you can google it and find the you know uh, right parameter the one which i have used over here is uh, expires in one hour right the second concept is you can even create a pre-signed url uh, even for those objects or keys which does not yet exist um, still you can go ahead and create pre-signed url and they will start working when the file is available and the third and most important concept is the account which has generated the pre-signed url if somehow that account has lost its access pre-signed url will also stop working so i hope you have enjoyed uh, this session and learned something new uh, see you again thank you